This is a little demo of the VLC controlling part of my iPhone app. Um, so you can see when I launch the app, up top we've got a search bar and then <clears throat> folder listings of all of the media that I've got on my desktop computer as well as some basic control functionality down here like skip, um, pause, toggle between play and cue mode um, and then you've got in this menu you've got um, toggle shuffle mode, toggle repeat mode, um, send the video to monitor 1, send the video to monitor 2, eventually monitor 3, um, quit VLC, refresh the data, scrub 30 seconds backwards, scrub 30 seconds forward, and then toggle full screen mode. Um, so you can see if I wanted to watch some Dexter, um, we just find Dexter here in the list, and let's say I wanted to watch Season 3, Episode 4. You just go ahead and click it, and it will launch that media on my desktop computer. Start it playing. If I then wanted to watch Episode 1, I could click Episode 1, and it will queue that up and start that right away. If I come down here and I go into queue mode, all of the files from then on will be added to the playlist and not actually being played right away. Um, so you can get to those by using the next button um, or actually pulling up the playlist and being able to jump between the files. Um, you can see you could click next and manually progress through the files um, or turn on shuffle mode and see that it jumps randomly between the files and is no longer in order. Um, so I can do some <clears throat> other stuff where if I wanted to, let's say, move this video to monitor one, I could go ahead and click that button. Um, if I wanted to move it back to monitor two, if I wanted to go into full screen mode, click the full screen button, come out of full screen, click the full screen button again. Um, you can also use these um, buttons to seek in the file, and these will jump by 30 seconds. And you can see the response time is pretty good if I click on the button a lot. Um, you can also drag the slider so that I could manually jump to a certain point in the file. Um, click pause, shut it up for now. Um, so some other stuff that I can do <coughs> is I could go ahead and um, search for some media. So if I wanted to watch uh, an episode of It's Always Sunny, I could just type always, for example. And this will give me um, results that I can <coughs> go in, into the folder and actually look at all the seasons. And let's say I wanted to play every single episode I have, I can just go ahead and click Play All Files. And oh, i got to first take it out of queue mode. But now if I click Play All Files, it will pull up and launch um, if all of the episodes of It's Always Sunny that I have, and I can skip between them, jump to the middle, um, so go ahead and shut down VLC. So um, sometimes when you're in a season and um, there's lots of episodes and they all have file names that drag on longer than um, I give a window to view. Um, I give you this little button here so you can click and it will pull up um, a more detailed view of that file giving you the actual file name, the folder to that file and then also um, a preview of a screenshot of that file and here it's at a minute, minute and thirty. Clicking down here I can advance by thirty seconds or I can just drag the slider and manually pick a frame in the video so I could get an idea of what's actually going on in this episode and if this was um, an episode I wanted to watch I could just go ahead and click the big play button on the middle and it will launch that media so um, can also do this all for uh, music as well as video so um, if I wanted to come and let's say I wanted to listen to some Muse type Muse in and I could get the folder here with all of the different albums. Um, again I could say play all and it will switch to that album and start that media playing right away. And let's say I wanted to pick a better song so let's say I could go to the playlist mode and let's, let's try to go to 
map of your head. So that'll start that playing. Could pull this up and jump to the middle if I really wanted to advance it. So that's a little demo of the VLC part of my app. Thanks.